Welcome, welcome, welcome back. I'm Ian. And I'm Mike. This makes week five of the large William Morris inspired lap book. I got it right this time. <laughs> Last week we made the carcass up for the right hand side with all the craft card, etc. I think you all did a really good job. You seem to enjoy it. So this week we're going to do a lovely bit of sticking all the panels on, making the, the invisible pockets, etc. All the exciting decoration. That's, decoration, that's much quicker, isn't it? <laughs> so without more ado, let's go overhead and let's get cracking. Okay then, so we'll have a quick recap. Last week we did the insert, we may, sorry, we, that's the bottom Okay, so let's have a quick recap. Last week we made the carcass for the right hand side. Looks complicated, but as I said to you, <laughs> it's not. Well, they can go back and watch it if they think it's complicated. This is true. <laughs> so this week we're going to decorate it all up with the right hand side pack of the papers and the pockets, etc. to mm -hmm. go in there. Yeah. Um, this is the printed version. In the printed version you get the left, right and the ephemera. The downloads are the left, right as a download and the ephemera as a download from Mike's site. So two downloads, one download including both left and right hand side yep. and one download for all the ephemera. This is true. On your website, there is the printed versions that they can buy pre-printed. That's it, yeah. So I will just want to talk to you about what, how we're going to do it because again, everything is numbered or lettered. Yes. Lettered, isn't it? Okay. So with Mike's help, I'm going to use my sample sample I made to test. Yep. And I'm going to we're going to write on here all the different panel numbers, etc. Yeah, because hopefully you've already got this now made up, ready to go. Well, you've had a week. Yeah, you so know. they've had a week. So you've had a week to make it. So you you should be pretty pretty close. <laughs> so right. So let's just let's start with. The, open it out, right, right so the out. Inside middle panel. Inside middle, the big panel. Is panel A. That is panel A. So we're just going to put an A in the middle of there. Doesn't yeah. matter, you're not going to see it. We're going to stick everything on top. Okay. So, so the top open panel there is panel B. That's panel B. Okay. All right. If you want to write the panels, if you want to write the panels on the inside while you're doing panel B, yeah. open it up. The one on the left is panel I. I've got a bit of a bump in it there, Mike. Yep. Panel I. Yeah. And the one on the right is panel J. If yep. you then close it, the one on the left is panel C. So panel C. The one on the right is panel D. Okay. Right, so that's the top all done. Okay. Right, so if you move on to the middle right. Which is this one. Yep. So that's the one that's got the pocket. Yes. All right. So the bit without the pocket is panel N. N, N and for the Nigel. panel side, the pocket side. Yeah. So this bit here yeah. is O. O. When you close it, that becomes panel P. We'll have a quick go. We'll look through it again before we before we start. Okay. And then the bottom. Okay. While they're still closed, the one on the left is panel G. And the one on the right is panel H. Yeah. If you open up the middle panel, the largest middle panel is panel F. Yeah. The one on the left is panel K. And the one on the right is panel L. Okay. You are not doing the back because that's where it gets stuck. That's right. No, that, no it doesn't get stuck. Lift it up, no, please. The one on the back gets stuck. Oh, yes, stuck. yeah. What's this facing panel then? Right, so last the facing one. panel, the last panel. Is panel M. Panel M. Okay, so let's start. You know you've got it right because it'll be M N O. Oh, that's clever, isn't it? Never unless I've done that. <laughs> okay, so just a quick recap. So the main panel in the middle. Panel A. Panel A. We open it up, and we're going to get panel B. Yep. Panel I is on the left. Panel J is on the right. Yes. When they're closed, it becomes C and D. That's right. We go to the right hand side, we've got an N and an O. Yeah. Remember, that's a pocket. That's a pocket. Back of that is P. Yeah. Make sure that looks a P, not a D. <laughs> then we go to the bottom. I know you're thinking it's complicated, and it's not. You know, like we did the other one. We have an F, a K, and an L, 
and an M. We got the G and the H. Where's the G and the H, mate? Oh, it is. I'm sorry. The G and the H. Yeah. So once you've got all those, you're ready to go. You're ready to rumble. So, one, rumble. what you're going to need today is glue or tape, a burn filter, scissors or a knife, and a metal ruler. Straight edge. In the straight, yeah, straight edge. We've got a pencil here just for writing on. I don't think you're going to need that when we get cracking. <coughs> so I. what I'm going to do, I'll just put this to one side, if I may. There we go. So I'm going to unpack this. So if you've printed it out, you'll have it all ready. If you buy it as pre-print sets, that's what, it looks that's what it'll look like. So we'll just take out the bag. So as before, we've got all the panels, right hand, side, panel A, etc, etc, etc. So, do you explain what this is for? This oh. goes there when we put it together. Right, okay. It covers up the join in the craft paper. So, so that'll be next week? That'll be next week, yeah. So, I'm going to go and cut these out. So you've got everything you need in here. There's a spares just in case. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Everything's got all the, the notes on to where to put them. So I will now go and have a mammoth cut out. Oh, good. Let me make a cup of coffee. You can have a cup of coffee. And I'll be back in two shakes of a donkey's tail. I'm going to put the double-sided polymer on the back that I always use, a double-sided sheet. But you can use wet glue or double-sided tape. Oh, whatever. The, the adhesive of your choice. Indeed. So back in two shakes, and I've come back and I've got all my fingers. Well, yes, after using, what was it, scissors? <laughs> Running that, with scissors. Scalpel, that's Jenny Marple's is. That's the name of Jenny's blog, actually. Yeah, yeah. I'm surprised you remember. Oh, well, uh, so yeah, I've been downstairs, mm -hmm. I've cut them all out. And he's even made me a cup of coffee, look. How wonderful is that? Well, I say I cut them all out of half. It's the double-sided sheet holds everything back into the sheets. Yep. Okay. So, are you going to pull your chair up, Mike? I think so. You're going to be, you can be my been, uh, Dr. Been, Watson. I've just been kissing Nippy on you the can be my John. You can be the Johnny to my Fanny. Thank you, pardon. Fanny and Johnny, when they were chefs in the 1960s. I'm sure our American customers and viewers will know who Fanny Craddock was. Excellent. She was a TV cook. <laughs> if you want to call her that, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, okay. Look her up. Yeah. <laughs> Bright orange eggs packed with pipe cleaners. Ugh, don't. Ugh, don't. Right, okay, so we've, we've got all our numbers on the carcass. As letters. We, letters. Sorry, I keep saying numbers. I, do, I am sorry. The alphas, not numerics. The alphas on there. Okay. What I stress to you the most is when you come to cut all these sheets out, mm -hmm. please do not cut them all out at once because you're going to get them all mixed up unless <laughs> you write the numbers on the back. The letters on the back. There you go. That's probably the easiest way to do it. Cut them out, write the panel number, letter. You've got me doing it now. Yeah. The panel letter <laughs> on the back. That way you won't no, won't forget or you won't get confused. Okay, so where are we going to start then? Panel A? I would have thought we'd start at the very beginning because it's a very, very good, good place, place to start. start. Thank you, Miss Andrews. All right, so panel A, which is the main back part, isn't it? Yeah. Right, he's got me pressing these out. Just off camera. It's easy. It, it is easy, right. It wouldn't give me a difficult job to do, would you? No. There you go, panel I'm, A. I'm just going to pull my chair out a little because... Okay. Just this panel here on the front sheet, panel A. Oh, yeah. You'll need to save that for next week. Yes, you will. And there's also one on the next sheet as well. There's yeah. two. But you only need one. You only need one. Yeah. Okay. But save that for next week. Absolutely. Let's move my chair back a little bit. I don't all will be revealed. It will. Okay. Well, not all, but you know what I mean. Okay, so let's just get that off there. I can't, my fingers aren't working for all of a sudden. There we are. Number one. So that's A. There we go. Fits beautifully. Beautifully, beautifully, beautifully. What have we got next then, Mike, uh, please? Can we just point out? Before yep. we go any further with panel B, um, make sure when you are cutting these out, you are leaving a little bit of a white border. Because we did last time when we did the left, did. which if is downstairs. You, uh, right, okay. Yeah. If you didn't cut a white border on the left-hand side lot, don't worry about it. Don't but cut a border did, on. Don't, don't cut a border on. Yeah. Okay, right. So panel B is the next one. Panel B. 
which is a beautiful kind of yellow ochre um olive green. I love that paper. This is lovely. I can't just nearly sliced my fingers then. Well, yeah, he spoke too soon. I'm not having a very good day today, to be honest with you. Okay, so. Is it personal? Do you want to talk about it? No, I don't want to talk. It's not personal, <laughs> and I know I don't want to talk about it. Okay, I spilled my drink over the original one. There you go. <laughs> so this is number two. This is number two, because you remember I showed you how the flap stuck down? Yeah. I spilled drink all over it, so I had to make it again. Yeah. So, never mind. We did all that off camera, so... We did, so, yeah, so <laughs> took the crane and all that lot so, stopped so now. So you didn't really need to know that, but... No, know. but it's always nice to share. <laughs> okay, so let's do these panels next, mate, with C and D, have we? Well, yeah, do you want to, do you want to just stick that down, that pocket down? No, we'll do it when we get to it. you've admitted to it now. No, we'll get to that in a minute. I don't want to go... I'm glad we weren't actually filming when the coffee cup went oh, over. Oh, my. And it was tea, actually, wasn't it? Yes. Fruit tea. Yes. Red, yes, fruit tea, Look like a bloodbath. <laughs> the language is appalling. I feel guilty for even saying what I said. Yeah. Right, so uh, that was panel C. Yep, panel C goes on okay. there. So once these go on, they do spell the word art. Please don't spell it wrong. A R T S. S as you in... can if you want to mix it up and spell rats. Star. I can think of one person who would like rats on it. I do. Alien. Alien, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so that goes that. Okay, so we're going to move to the other side. Okay, next. where are we going now, Mike? Then? Right, if we go down, let's do G and H. Okay. Which is the other side to the um move the, the down outs. to that. So we'll do the outer. Super duper. As you start to build it, you'll realise why you need that um gutter on it. Yeah. Going through the, the adhesive, you're going all the way through on that, so it might be, feel a bit ragged. It isn't, but it might feel a bit ragged. It's not as hard enough with your scalp either, did you? No. There we are. And T. So you might just have to go back over that one again, sweetie. I've tried it. It won't, it's not gone through the back. Oh, you are clever. Clever dick. Uh, yes. A R T S. There we are. Okay, so we're now we've got the letters that spell arts. Rats. No, it spells arts, please. Star. Don't don't confuse people. Shut up. A R T S. And you'll also notice when it opens out, you've got the same pattern on all three pieces there. Which keeps it all quite Very consistent. Nice. Okay, where are we going to go now? Uh, we're doing the inside two panels on that now. Is it I and J? It is I and J. Uh, sorry, I'm just going to go. That Very... doesn't matter, it's the back in. I know it is, but for me to get it across to you, I've got to get it off. Okay, thank you very much. Not doing half a job. No, so just peel that off of there. And then we'll pop it onto that. The only reason I'm here is to sort of peel these off. It is actually, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, I'm going to sit back down now. Okay, then. So okay. this one is panel J. Thank you. All right, let me just show them while you're pulling the back of that. Right, so there are these two little panels here. Um, don't worry about those just yet. We'll talk about those in a little while. Yes. Okay, so that goes on. Like that. Like that. Okay, so we've now got all the panels, apart from the back one, onto there. Where are we going next, Mikey? Um, I'm attempting to take out panel K next. Okay. Thank you very much. Do you want, once you've done that, do you want to pass me all the yellow sheets over here? Yeah, and I'll, and I'll dispose of them, so otherwise you're going to be disappearing under a... Under a rest of the... Uh, Yellow backings, yeah. yeah. Okay. And that's. It doesn't actually matter if you get these inner ones the wrong way around. It doesn't matter at all. I.e., you could put those two at the top or those two at the bottom. It's just the way I've designed it to fit this way. Okay. Because you'll find you've also got some more 
little labels to go with those. But we'll come to those in a little, come those in a little while. As Mike quite rightly says. Do we have a, an F there, Mike, please? Um, we'll, we'll do it in... Are we, are we going alphabetically, Coco? Clearly. That's fine, then. We'll do it in a little while. Just, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll do F in a moment. Actually, no, we will do F now. Then we've got that bit finished, haven't yeah, we? Yeah, this is the beauty of actually writing it down, actually, on the, the panel itself, oh, yeah. in your journal, so that you know exactly which panel goes with which. So if you don't, you're going to get in a mess with it. You are. Thank you so very that's much. Num that's F, F. If you can hear a little jingling noise, it's not Santa returning. It's Mr. Nippy wandering around with his uh, with his car. Oh, he's behind us, yeah. He's just got into his bed. Oh, oh. That was close. It was, yes. Yeah, I just got it stuck. To, just managed to save that. This is the problem with this sticky stuff. <laughs> it's so sticky. It's yeah. It's scary. Mm. Okay. So we've got that on there. All right. So the next one is the panel above. I'm just going to bring that down a little bit so people can see. Yeah. So that's panel E. E. Okie dokie. Yeah, when you've got glue, you've got some movability. I know with this sticky, people say, oh, but you can put some, some bit of Pritt stick on the back. This is industrial sign material. It doesn't work. That's the problem. It doesn't work. But it, it does, but you don't get as much as what you think. No, you don't. There isn't. There is hardly any wiggly, wiggly room on this anyway. Okay, so that's that. You see, every area is covered in a panel, so you've got so much to write on. Okay, where are we going next, Mike? Okay, we are going panel M. Did you know? I thought we might be. Thank you very much, Mike. There we are. Like speed crafting, isn't it? Speed making. Well, once you've actually done your journal, if you've got them already cut out, then you literally, it's. I mean, if you want to make them to sell, by all means do. It's great because, I mean, it, once you've made it once, you'll find it's much easier to make a second time. Absolutely. Right, so this next sheet, all right, this says N and O. It isn't. I've got them the wrong way around. It's actually O and N. I've got them the wrong way around, but if you watch this video, you'll know. Yeah, so that actually wants to go on the pocket. Yes, it and does. And the bit that says William Morris wants to go on there. Just like that. Not that, not the other way around. Yes, so what? Again, you've got a little piece here, but that's for a tab. We're going to come, come up to that in a little yeah. while. Okay, so let's just put this on and then we'll stick the pocket down. As I say, it was already stuck down too. We had a bit of a accident. <laughs> There we are. All right, just give me a second while I just whip through. I'll just stick this one down. Yeah, I just need to find out where I is. Where, where I is. Where I is. Where I is. You know, well, that's fine now. We've got all them stuck down. We've got to do the invisible pockets then. We've got, oh, we've got one more to put on P, which is there. We have, yeah. Then you've got the pockets which are there. Yeah. Okay, please, when you do this, don't do what I did when I first made it. I think I mentioned before and put tape down there. Yeah. It ceases to become a pocket more than more than just a piece of cardboard. It's a reinforced reinforced cardboard, yeah. So I'm using some quite narrow on this because I want plenty of room for me to be able to get the tab the uh, tag that goes in there. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Alright, so let me have a we'll have a tab. Put the stick this down. Uh-huh. I'll stick this down, stick that down, put the back on, then we'll have a bit of a tidy, because... Well, we'll give you a chance to have yeah. a couple of mouthfuls of my coffee, which I haven't been able to say it way out. So there's that on there. You'll see as we put it all together next week, how it all just generally gels together. And should look beautiful. Uh, let's have a look at that there. So then we've got one more to go, I believe, Mike. We have. Which is P. P. I am literally disappearing under this stuff. Let's just get this bit done. We'll have a rest. Tidy, we'll have a rest. Have it tidy up and then we can come back. I just want to flip that over so I'm working on this flat because it's easier than working on it when it's on the, yes. the journal itself. Absolutely. Right. Okay, so when you finish, the only area that shouldn't have anything on is there. And that is the back. 
yes. it's going to be stuck into the journal. So just a quick recap. So we've got thoughts. The idea is that you see when you open it, you've always got the blue. So you've got the blue there, the blue there, and you open it up to that. So, right, let's just put that nice. into there. Let's put this over there. Let's have a tidy with all this, this rubbish. Stuff, and then we'll be right back. We'll be right back. Okay, so we're all tidied up. I've popped my finished journal there. We're just going to start to do the invisible pockets now. There is three blue and one, two, three not blue. <laughs> <laughs> so, the way the invisible pockets work is... We're just going to get, there we go. So this one. We're just going to get what? It's, it's, sorry, just going to get, get a ruler and stuff. Invisible pocket for panel P, okay? Doesn't matter if you get them mixed up. As long as you get the pockets on the right colour, it doesn't matter. Right, blue to blue. Blue, blue to blue. blue. So it makes it a different yeah. way around the go. No, but it's, it's, the, the idea was that they fit certain panels, but all the panels are the same. So I, was just, I think I've just made things slightly overly complicating for a change. Really? That's unlike you. This is unlike me, isn't it? Okay, we'll just put a crease in there. There we go. Ready to put it out first? No. <laughs> no, because we're going to put... Uh -oh. By doing this, you're going to give your pockets a little bit of... Do it the easy way. ...stability. And a bit, they'll be a bit thicker at the top. So, yeah, take that off. A bit thicker. Yeah, okay, like that. Yeah, so then we trim. It's doing an accent classes on PC these Yes, it is. Right. Don't do it again. Oh. Right, so. <laughs> okay, so. Trim that. I think I've just it's gone a bit dull with cutting on like glue really? out. Really? Do you yes. Think? Yes. <laughs> okay. Let's push a little bit harder. There we are. There we go. Doesn't matter about all this in the inside, you see. No. She won't see it. So that's number one. Rubbish. Thank no, you, Mike. Give me the rubbish. Thank you. All right, on this one, I'll just cut this off because we've got the card. To insert insert card to go in, in the, behind the pocket that we've we've made the tall pocket on, oh, yes. on the flap. Oh yes. So I'll put that over there for now. And then do it a little bit harder. So I don't think I scrub I scored it hard enough last time. So when I folded it, it didn't do it didn't really go where I wanted. Oh, that's better. Yes. And then commit your crease. Yeah. Don't stab yourself in the hand with a scalpel. Hmm. It's not a good idea, is it? Yeah. Wet glue you could use again, as I say, but use, I'm using this for speed. And the fact that if I have wet glue, it goes everywhere. And it's not a pretty sight, is it, Mike? No. Oh, that's out of the way of that. It certainly isn't, Steve. Mm -hmm. There we are. And then just trim down again. I dreamt about Laurel and Hardy the other night. Did you? Yeah, it was most bizarre. We were thinking about Malcolm and Wise, the British comedy duo, the other night, and they were talking about Laurel and Hardy, weren't they? Yeah. And Very weird. There we go. So that's the second one done. So we've got a couple done now. Let's see you can see them. Move those out of the way. I must have remembered or seen a clip somewhere. They were like standing on the side of a road, upside a hotel or a saloon or a bar or something. Right. And uh, music starts playing and they, they both they do a little dance. Oh, right. It must have been from one of the movies. That, and I must have seen it recently for it to pop into my head like that. We watched a fantastic movie yeah, last night. Didn't we? Oh, from 1957. Dana Andrews and... Peggy Cummings. Peggy Cummings, it was very good. Yes. What was it called? Um, right, if you're watching it in the UK, oh, it's dear. called Night of the Demon. Yeah. If you're 
looking for it in the US, it was called Curse of the Demon. That's right. It had a different title. Yes, it did. Like Harry Potter did yes. in the UK than it did in the US. So and a lot of Americans don't realise that it's different. Yes. Harry Potter, the first Harry Potter book was actually different. Here in the UK, it was the Philosopher's Stone. But in the US, it was the Sorcerer's Stone. It was. Put my tab on that. Put some glue on that one. For some strange reason. Are you having a harassment? I'm not having a good day at all today. But it'll be alright. It'll soon be over. <laughs> That one just needs trimming. Yes, so this 1957 British horror film. I say horror film, you watch it now and it's the sort of thing oh, you get on Turner movies. It's, or... Yeah, it's very, very tame. Um, but Oh, the effects were brilliant considering. For, for 1957, they were pretty spectacular, I think. They were spectacular. Three. And that one again. For some reason, it's not scoring very well today. It's probably this. gummed up. Do you want me to get another one? There's, there's another one here. That'd be great. That's a very old one, isn't it? It is. It's a very, very old one. It says Crafty Hands on it when we used to have our craft company. Well, that's from one of our very first trips to the US. This one. Oh, it's, it's from Michael's, isn't it? Yeah, other collection, it's Michael's. Yeah. 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 Did we mention that last week? Yeah. I think we may have done. Yeah. It's been too long since we're in the States. It has. And with two small children now, it's a bit more well, difficult. And two aged parents. Yes. Even more so. Because they can't really they can't really babysit anymore, can they? Unfortunately they can't now. But you can carry on now. Thank you very much. The camera just stopped dead. It is, yeah. <laughs> So, Ian just stopped his hands moving, it just like so a, we can have continuous in movement. Yes, makes a change. There we are. Okay, let's roll that over there. That's better. The other one was awful. It was just wasn't wasn't scoring deep enough to go through the toner. There we are. There we go. Well, I'll continue cutting these other two. I've got two more to cut out. And I'll, you'll join me in a moment again. You don't have to see me do the same thing six times. Okie dokie. Okay. So you're going to just finish that one off. Let's then... finish this off on those two and then we'll come back. Right, I'm on my last one. I've got them all cut out and the adhesive on the flaps as you saw me doing before. So now I'm just going to go around the edge with a little bit of um, double sided tape. This is a lot thinner than the other. It's so there's plenty of room for the tags, tickets ephemera etc whatever you would like to put into it on top of obviously what you get with it if you buy the ephemera set to pop in it mm -hmm. so one more piece to go is that what we're doing next week we're putting the, the two sides together and then adding all the ephemera yeah next week we're going to put all both we're going to make the journal up and we're going to cut out and make all the ephemera up to go with populate it. it populate it and then that's it that's week six so okay. this is week five so okay so we've got our pockets done any of those need finger funny punch. enough like they do so what we're going to do is i'm going to measure at the back and i know they're the 155 pencil. millimeters so i'm just going to slide it at six inches so we'll put it at three which is there just <laughs> halfway is that inch and a half punch or? It is an inch and three eighths. All right, because there's an inch one there as well if you want a smaller one. Now this should be okay. I'm not going to go very deep with it. I'm only going in. Oh, just there. nibbling it. Just to nibble it, so I don't want to cut into the. Yeah. The detail. So again. Well, if you mark on the other side. Yeah. Because that bit's going to be nibbled out, isn't of it? Of course, it's always work on the back. Sorry. Just really see where you're bit. going then. Yeah. So just put a little nibble, and then you can see when you punch it. Of course, it. I can. But you are clever. Ah, oh, yes. Yeah, so that's too yeah, much. Up there for dancing, there. down there for thinking. Hey. Okay. I think it's the other way around. <laughs> there we are. Two. And then just again, little mark on. 
where the middle is. We'll do them all together. One. So if you don't want to put these the finger little finger loops in, you don't have to if you don't want finger loops. Finger, what are they called? It's just a what, thumb hold. Th thumb hold or thumb grip. Yeah, so you can pull them out if this if anything slides in. That's small, but these are quite big pockets. And the ephemera is quite yeah. big, so. But I always think it looks nice yeah. and finished if you've got the whole. I think I'm going to stay. Oh dear. <coughs> Excuse me. There we go. There's the other one. See, that's don't be too far because that's yeah. going into it, so. Not there. That one there. Lovely. And. Down there. Last one, just clip it in like that. Okay, so we've marvelous. We've all got some holes in them now. And as Mike says, it does look a lot better when you've got them in, and they're nearly all in the same place, which is good for me. <laughs> well, you mark them, so they should be almost in the yeah, same place. Yeah, but the I mean, client, sometimes I do it blind. <laughs> okay, so. The idea is that will go onto there and the pocket disappears. Right, so you've not left a border on the pockets? No, no border on the pockets at all. If, do, if, if you do, you're just going to end up having a pocket that shows rather than invisible pockets, like your good self showed me how to do. So that one. May I give you those to start on peeling? If no, you don't mind? Yeah, okay. Thank you. Okay. Um, does it matter what colour I'm giving you? Uh, no, not at all. Oh. See now at the side that marries up and you can't actually see there's a join there. There and there. So just push it down lightly. Okay, what colour have we got next? Another blue one? Yep. Lovely. Oh, I love that one. Yeah, without having a border on it, it just sits then within the edge. And you don't see. Where it joins. I'm like a magician's apprentice today. You are, aren't you? Ta-da! Oh, what clue have we got next, Mike? This is the the dark blue. This is that one there. there. So we'll just move that up there. That one. That one. <laughs> it's that one. Okay, so that goes into there, just onto the edge. So we're not covering the white up. We're still leaving the white border at the bottom. Push it down with your fingers. If you want to use a um, a, f a bone folder just to give it a rub down you can. <coughs> oh, excuse me. I much prefer to use my thumbs. It's much better like that. Okay, so. I'm just that's a quick that. mouthful of coffee. Yeah. Um, I think this one then. Yeah. It's this one. one. It is. It that one. See, it doesn't matter which ones are gone as long as the colours match the backgrounds. It's nice yeah. that they're all coordinating actually. Okay, so that's that. So what have we got next? That there. We've got the yellow ochre one. That must therefore be the last one. Set off penultimate one because we haven't done that one yet, have we? That's it. That's I love one. this colour. I do. Line it up again. Onto there. And there. Again, just rub lightly. Shut that up there. And then we're left with that one. The last blue one. Oh, that's a nice one. So that goes on there as well. Okay. So, what we need to do next. That actually looks like there's a piece of card in. stuck inside. It does. It does, doesn't it? Okay. So, all these have now got the pockets on. And I want to talk to you now about these tall thin panels. Okay, within your tall thin panels, you get uh, on your sticker sheets or sticker sheets on your printouts, you get one to match each colour. If we could get those out, oh, they are, they are rather tight, those. Yeah, I did say. You did. I shouldn't be using a knife, not how, not how bad it's going today. There we are. <laughs> there we are. Just not quite cut through it, blooming thing. Thanks, Mike. 
it actually says where you, where you can where you to put them but it's it's, the ob it's obviously quite obvious which one goes with which of the you're, ma you're matching up the you're matching match you are okay one two three four okay so you'll notice we have the four panels onto those panels i'm going to stick some of these and these are these are very very small wage envelopes pocket money envelopes these are available on my website mm -hmm. are they are you looking at me are yes they? are they are they so what i'm going to do it's going to fold it in the pocket the flap in on itself this will give it a little bit of stability as well because they're not very thick so i just fold would you just fold those in for me well i'll just do this one okay we need a little bit of sticky to go on the back. Again, wet glue is ideal, or I'm going to use this tape. I'm going to put two pieces down. So these little wage envelopes, just have a quick check. Mm -hmm. um, pack of 10. Yeah. And you're only going to use six for your journal. You are, yes. Yeah. So you'll have a couple left over. Yeah. Okay, so glue on the back of that. We're going to glue up, we're gluing on the back where the seam is because it's a, it's they don't look as nice on the front, they look really finished now. You've folded the, the flaps in. Thank you. You're very welcome. But if you do want to um, buy any of you know, make your own different You can't, and you, you don't. only um, think they are. So you've got a little envelope maker um, in yeah. in new money they are 62 millimeters by 100 so that makes them two and a half inches by four the reason we have these is we oops oh, 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 that was close the reason we are using these is because in the ephemera set you actually get tall thin cards yeah that sit beautifully in these, which are colour coordinated to these stickers. But if you wanted to make your own envelopes, like I'm saying, if you've got your own craft card or whatever colour you want, yeah, then then you can just make them two and a half by four, well, yeah, and I'll, they'll fit. Yeah, because you've got your stickers are on your in your in your uh, your printouts. Well, they're not stickers until you put adhesive or glue on the back. Aren't they? No, they're not. They're just pieces of paper, really, aren't they? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, the, the panels. Panels, yeah. Envelope panels. There you go. Oh, that's a nice word. That way, like. you're not going to get yourself into trouble when <laughs> people are expecting them to have adhesive on the back. Yeah, when they print them out and they don't come out sticky. Yeah. I remember from many years ago, a lady, God bless her, an elderly lady, bought a CD from us when we used to have our previous life, and she phoned up. And she said, "I want to know." She said, uh, "Everything you showed is in colour, but when I printed out, it's all black and white." Why is that? I said, what colour printer? What printer have you got? I've got a black and white printer. Yeah, Mono, mono laser a printer. A mono laser printer. So everything was coming out in black and white. Okay, so that's that done. Perfect. I remember the lady who bought, this, bought a CD from us. That's what we used to do, crafting CDs, didn't yes, we? Yes, we did. And then said that she didn't have a computer. Yes, she did. So I told her it would make a lovely coaster. He did, in his best, in his best smiley accent. Okay, that will put that on there. So that's number one. You've got it the right way around. Yes. <laughs> I'm trying to keep them all that way up. Today's not going well, so you know. Well, I just thought I'd mention it just in case. Yes. Of course, as we said before, if you want to, I want to distress it all up. Yep. Use your distressing inks or your oxides, spray, spritz. I like this because it's so clean. Yeah. One, two. That's your third one. Is there only four? Yes, there is. So I would have done six. I'm not sure. You brought six over. You asked me for six. I know, and I don't know why, because there is only four. Have you taped up six? No, yeah, this, this is, yeah I've, I've taped up six, yeah. Never mind. Okay. So, if, so in fact, you get packs of. of uh, Pack of ten. Ten. So you're going to have extra spares. Yeah. So, yes, yeah, so we've got them all now. All sticky on the back, labels on the fronts. You can mix them up if you want, but it, it doesn't do me any good that. I just can't do it. No. <laughs> My OCD comes in. It offends your OCD sensibility. It does. It? it does, absolutely. So these are just going to sit 
towards the bottom with a little little board around like that very nice to make them a little bit when you before you put your stuff in them just open them up a little bit that way when you put your ephemera in they're not yeah. gonna not gonna pull so that's that's your favorite that one isn't it i believe well that I, I that one and i also really like that one as well like the bright pink one okay with having little white borders around everything, it looks so petite and so pretty. It does. You've got like, it looks like foam matting, doesn't it? Yes. Not foam matting, foam matting. So those two in there. Pretend. Pretend matting, yeah. That folds out. We'll get that one to open there. So now we've got the last fold that in on itself. The desk isn't big enough, is it really? No, we need a big house. To get a bigger desk in Mike's craft room? Yes. Okay. So then we'll do this one and then just one more to go. And then I want to talk about the tag to make the tag up and the little um, tab to go on it. So that's that. As I say, you can mix them up if you want. If you feel the need, mix them up. I don't feel the need, so I'm not going to mix them up. I like it all as it is matchy matchy. Okay. So we've got the pockets in there. Pocket there. Mm -hmm. There is to write on there. You've got your pocket in there. Yeah. Then you've got your secret pockets there. What secret po pockets there and your secret pocket there. You've got the area to write on there. Plus you've got your pocket there and you've got your invisible pocket there. All we need now to do is to make up the large tag that goes into that. Excellent. Well, let's have a tidy up, get yep. rid of all the debris that's on the desk, and oh, we'll yeah. be right back. <laughs> you find that when you cut all your bit, all your your bits and bats out, your 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 pages, etc., in your pockets, you end up with a huge pile of paper. <laughs> Seems more paper than it was when we actually printed it. Yes. Okay. So this is the library card, the, library, the tab that's going to go in to the journal on the pink side there okay all right okay yeah. so i'll just move that over there for a minute so just need to put a crease down it where's that very, very good tool there we are bone folder the very good one that seems to work today the other one i think has just given up the ghost i think it needs sharpening <laughs> yeah. well it needs either degreasing as in get rid of all the sticky off it yes that's true or it wants um it won't sharpen it a bit. So, I'm just put that there. We need to get an emery board on it. Yes, I think you're probably right. Okay, so I've got some of my double sided here. So I'm just going to tuck it under there, put that down there, just cut across there to get rid of the bit I don't want. But we don't throw it away, we'll put it up there for now. And I'm just going to peel. Thank you, Mike. That's off there. So we'll just cut along the back. Theoretically, if I folded it properly, there should be no white. Oh, there isn't. There's a relief. <laughs> <laughs> if there is, just cut it a bit smaller. That's what I always do. Okay, and that's worked as well. Let's give you these bits, Max. They've got the sticky on them. Thank you. Thank you very just much. Put those ones in. Excellent. More sticky. More sticky. There we go, and just cut along there. There we go. So we've now got our little card. Fabulous with the man on it. The great man himself, yeah. So you've also got a background for your tab here, which is on the same sheet. Mm -hmm. I'm just going to use our fantastic tab punch. There we go. Oh. It needs that little click, doesn't it? It does. Put that back down and away. Thank you, Mike. Thank you. Okay, now we've got a little piece of a tab. Just going to fold it in half. I'm just going to put a little crease down it. Just makes it easy to to stick the uh, to put the adhesive on. A little bit of the glue, not the glue, the tape. <laughs> 
What are you laughing at? You're getting all your worms wrong today, aren't you? It's not you? very well today, is it? No. <laughs> no. Okay, so... You are like I was yesterday. Oh, well, were you like that yesterday? Well, I was, but that's because I've been up since 4am. Yeah, somebody got heartburn. I had to get up early. It had nothing to do with half a box of, of after eight minutes you ate. I didn't have half a box. <laughs> no, it didn't. Right, I woke up at 4 a.m. with heartburn, really bad heartburn. So possibly reflux, I don't know, it might have been something I ate. Yeah. Um, or it's the fact that I could have been laid Strangely. in the wrong position. Um, oh, well, poor man. Yeah. But anyway, I couldn't get back to sleep, so I ended up, I ended up getting up. Excellent. Right. <laughs> at four o'clock in the morning. So, that's the one we used in the last, the, on the left-hand side, and this is the right-hand. So, we've got to make sure we put it on that side, so it slides in that way. Excuse the noise, I'm just emptying the bin. He is. He's doing domestic things. Okay, so that's going to go on there. And as we saw from the last one, the little curve of the tab goes towards the top stop kissing the dog you, you're frightening him i'm not frightening him heaven knows you're frightening me you nip his curled up in his bed so okay you just so. have to give him a kiss on the head so that's gone on there so i'm just going to fold that in half and that goes on to there so now we have a mirror image of each other but in a different Ooh. color so that goes back into the front section that's the left hand side. That's the left section, yeah. yeah. And this one, put that to one side, that's obviously what we did last time. And this one is just going to slide into there. Like that. Make sure we don't get it stuck behind the oh yeah. So it just goes in. So all you see on that side is a little pink tab sticking out. Fabulous. So we'll just recap on what we've done today. So we've got all the panels on now. So, so we're finished with doing the insides now. So we have the AR on there. You've got your little uh, envelopes to put your little tag, the tall journaling cards that we're going to do next time with the ephemera. Secret pocket. Mm -hmm. Of course, you've got your pocket on there as well. Mm -hmm. Let's move up a little bit. So you've got your thoughts on there, pocket there. We open up. We have our secret little tab, little tab there with the William Morris card in it. Another invisible super pocket. And another one there. Another one there. And then we just come back down and we've got the, the TS for the arts. Plus we've got the little envelopes in there and the invisible pocket. So pockets galore. Pockets, well, you need lots of pockets, don't you? So that will roll into there, that rolls into there, let's get rid of that, that rolls into there. So the way, next time, next time you see me, which is next week, we're going to put that piece on there, that part on there, that'll go on there. We have a strip to go down there. You see this pulls it all together with the white. And then we're going to do all the ephemera next week, of which there is a lot. <laughs> so there's a lot of, lot of bits to go in here. So this is the end of week five. Yes. Thank you for watching us, Noble. I'm sorry it's been a bit of a stop-start day. Bad. Everything's gone wrong today. Well, not really. Well, no. Most of the stuff that's gone wrong has been off camera. Well, yeah, I don't look as foolish, do I? <laughs> <laughs> but don't forget, if you want to purchase the journal kit itself, which is the covers and the fabric, have you still got some left? I have. I've got the uh, Strawberry Thief. Okay, we've got the Strawberry Thief one still left. So that's on your website. My website. The printed versions of all of the panels and the ephemera are also on Ian's website. Yeah. If you're wanting to purchase the Digi Download version so you can print your own at home, those are on mine. So they'll be, the clickable links in the description yeah. area below anyway. And the little mini envelopes are on my site as well. Yeah, so that's so. great. So thanks for watching. If you've enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up. If something else about telling a friend... Oh, that's, I wants to be a millionaire, isn't it, for the friend? <laughs> Don't forget, you can share the video with a friend. And that's if you haven't one. subscribed to our YouTube channel already, you can do so by clicking the button at the end of the video. That's all from us for now. And I'll see you again next week. Bye, Bye for now. Oh. <laughs>
He's so rough <laughs> and so eternally grateful. <laughs> I'd like to say a huge thank you to all of my angels because without you these videos would not be possible. And don't forget you can access your exclusive angel only content over on my website. There's a link in the description area below. Thank you.